Hey friend, my name is Terry. It is fast approaching 2023 and I'm gonna make this video for someone who is obese, like 50, 60, 100 pounds overweight, who approaches their weight loss or you're thinking about approaching your weight loss in 2023 with low carb or keto or carnivore even, something along those lines, and yet you still use alcohol. You still drink, maybe maybe you're, you're considering uh, oh, I could do red wine or I could just do vodka. And I want to encourage you to consider dropping alcohol out of your life while you make this radical change. Going low carb keto, going from obese to a healthy weight will be life changing. And why not just fucking do it all and get rid of the alcohol and just get it all done? The alcohol uh, is not helping you is what I'm trying to say. And that's a judgy statement. And, it, and, and maybe you're the type of person who, who moderates your alcohol and you're just fine. You have two drinks a week, or excuse me, two drinks a year, uh, your birthday and Christmas, and you're happy. But I think there's a, a, a large segment of us, uh, and, and, I, and I, I get discouraged uh, by the keto, quote unquote, keto community because not that many people talk about it because I think they assume, oh, you're low carb. So you probably, you, you probably should just know that you shouldn't drink alcohol, but they don't want to talk about it because the culture is pretty much obsessed with alcohol. That's what we do for sporting events. That's what we do for fun. That's how we celebrate anniversaries and birthdays. And the list goes on and there's alcohol every week, all week, every event you go to. The, the other side of the coin is that alcohol is progressive, meaning the more you use it and, and give it access to your life, uh, the less return you get from it. And you start building up a tolerance, so your tolerance goes up, meaning that you use more and more alcohol to achieve the same effect, and next thing you know, before you realize it, it's got a grab on you. It puts its claws in you, and then you're stuck, right? And then, and then maybe you're, you're, you're at a, a, a friend's house watching a sporting event having a couple of low carb beers maybe if that's your choice or maybe you're drinking a glass of wine and they order a damn pizza and next thing you know you got a piece of pizza in front of you because you're like hey I'll start tomorrow or I'll reset tomorrow whatever the case may be I'm just letting you know that that it'll be a lot better on the other side when you when you address address your 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 issues with food right and get those right address your 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 how you're going to do exercise but also getting your alcohol under control and when i say under control i mean kill it just nip it you're, you're going to do something radical with your health right losing 50 to 100 pounds is radical life-changing experience ditch the alcohol ditch the alcohol while you're doing it get that under control you'll be amazed i've been sober since 2018 it took me five years from the time I started thinking about it to the time uh, to the time I started taking it seriously, and it took me two years when I started taking it seriously to get it done. And I think I think it's easier to get it done while you're making these radical changes to just drop the booze. You can tell people, "Hey, I'm not going to eat that pizza, and I'm not going to drink that beer," right? And you'd be amazed at how uh, how much free time you have how much headspace you get back because you don't have to worry about what, how much you're gonna drink or regrets or any of that stuff. And uh, I don't have a lot to tell you right now about that other than I wanna plant this seed in your head, right? That you can do it and that you probably know in your heart of hearts that alcohol is not serving you. There, there is, Huberman did a podcast that's about hours long about how bad alcohol is for you and how bad it is uh, on your mitochondria and how your liver has to process it and all the rest and you're in and you're thinking deeply about your diet and seed oils or should i eat this kind of fish or too beef or is pork bad for me but yet you've got this big albatross around your neck called booze this that that is just sucking all of those little micro pulls you're trying to do it's just it's messing up the process. It's messing up the process. It's clouding your judgment, uh, and it's not your friend. It's not your friend. But I am your friend. And if you need help or you want to talk about this a little bit, uh, I'm going to put up my email address. It'll there'll be a link down below as well if you want. And I uh, I help people from time to time 
uh, through email. Uh, if you really want to jump on a call, I, I'll do that with you. But I help people address alcohol and and to get their mind around it. So if I can be of help to you, let me know. You can do this. I believe in you even if you don't believe you. I, can, I believe that you're going to lose the weight and I believe you're going to ditch alcohol and have a better life on the other side. Be present with your friends, with your family, and all the rest. So here's to a good 2023. I'm wishing you the best. I'm going to probably make more videos about this. Uh, so if you have any questions or comments or, or want me to address something, drop it in below, and I look forward to seeing you again. Take care, my friend. Look forward to hearing from you.